Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Ships of Naval Action. Today we are going to take a look at another small one. This is the USS Rattlesnake. So as usual, first we start with her history. The USS Rattlesnake, she started off in 1813. She was purchased by the United States Navy. The Rattlesnake, an 18 gun sloop of war. There are some sources that list her as a brig, but considering she has three masts, she is a sloop of war and not a brig to my understanding. Correct me if I'm wrong. She started off as the Rambler but was sold to the American Navy or the United States Navy and was renamed to the USS Rattlesnake. The Rattlesnake would essentially spend her time privateering under the command of John O. Creighton, would sail with Enterprise cruising the Caribbean, capturing a total of five ships together. They would eventually split off when they spotted a big British frigate. Ooh, scary. Well, for a Super 4, a frigate is pretty scary. Later on, she would sail under command of Lieutenant James Renshaw, or I guess Lieutenant because it's American. Lieutenant James Renshaw, where she captured eight more vessels, which was a lot in the Eastern Atlantic. So this is all in 1840. This would arguably end on the 22nd of June when the 50 gun Leander captured her off of Cape Sable, which would put the end of the USS Rattlesnake service in the United States Navy. However, she did capture a lot of ships, mostly merchantmen, during her time, which is uh, impressive really, but you know, that was the job of small ships like this. And the final record of the Rattlesnake is that she was purchased by the Royal Navy in the 31st of July. Any more than that, we don't know. We do know that during her capture she was reported to have been armed with 22 guns, which is significantly more than she was launched with. Historically she launched with 14 guns, and in game she has 18 guns. Well, except for the Rattlesnake Heavy, but we'll cover that sometime soon. But this is the perfect segue to her in game. So what is she in game? Well, the Rattlesnake is a fast, lovely little sloop of war. I love how she looks to start off with. I think she looks great. She has a decent armament, 18 guns as I mentioned, six pounders or 24 pound carronades. So she hits hard. She can also carry four, not four, two four-pounders, got the numbers mixed up, or two 12-pounders carronades for bow chasers. And bow chasers is amazing. I don't believe there are a lot of ships of her class that do have bow chasers. There's the Rattlesnake Heavy, and that is it. The snow, there's the snow. So that does give the Rattlesnake a unique advantage because bow chasers make a huge difference. She has a decent side armament as well, however her main point is she's fast, she has decent armament. She isn't anything spectacular in terms of, you know, hit points or whatever. She has a decent amount of crew, I believe it was like 100 something, 120, around this. It of course varies depending on crew, ship upgrades and such. However, she is a solid little ship, she looks beautiful if you ask me. And she has a decent armament, she has the speed, she can match some lighter fifth rates, like the Cerberus. But I think that really does, well, I say she can match it. She has a similar amount of guns, but she has smaller guns, so can she truly match? Eh, okay, that's more of a debate, you know, it's a big step from the six rates to the fifth rates. So maybe I've seen that, maybe she can't really stand up to even the small fifth rates. But I would argue she is one of the, if not the best, 6th rate in game. So with that, I do hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all of that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!